But what's going on toxic gamers and call of duty refugees looks like that we are back guys we are so back right now people are excited as hell man sick is doing helicopters on bbc's right now that should show you how high people are right now and to make the matter even i guess better for this case right the homie blame truth the homie blame truth got nothing but good things to say about this game yay i could not compute it when i first heard that guys absolute crazy we're gonna get right into this video like the video if you love your mama like the video that we finally got some good news because you guys know that this is probably gonna be the one and only right because after this one looks like that we're gonna be getting a whole lot of bad news guys so enjoy it while it lasts shout out to the homie Nero. roll it we have a lot to go over here today Treyarch has revealed everything coming to season one of black ops 6 which is set to launch in exactly one week and like i said there is a ton to go over here it seems everything? like they really took that negative feedback at launch seriously because so Treyarch revealed everything you mean also the the friendly the friendly bbc do you mean like they also inbounded the homie uh, Captain BBC? I don't know about that one. I don't think they revealed everything, bro. Stop capping, bro. Season one is going to be bringing with it five new multiplayer maps plus a holiday revamp. We're going to get five new guns, two new melee weapons, two new game modes, a new event, two new perks, a new score streak. Basically, every aspect of Black Ops 6 new? is getting something new, including zombies with a new map coming, new? and of course, Warzone, which is going to finally be integrated with Black Ops 6 with the launch of the new Area 99 Resurgence map. There's a lot to go over today. I'm not even sure exactly what order to do everything in, so we're just going to jump into it with a weapon. New new guys new oh my god bro oh my god man wow wow that that uh, that is crazy okay let's find out take it away bro weapons here at launch we're going to be getting the craig c assault rifle which is said to be high damage with average handling and then we have the sogs of machine gun which looks like it's going to be like we saw back during black ops 4 where it's going to be a super fast fire rate combined with great handling and moderate recoil with season one reloaded there's going to be a brand new event going on and with that event we're going to be getting a bunch of extra new. weapons on top of the two that we get at launch we have the maelstrom fully automatic shotgun we then have the amr mod 4 sniper rifle which looks to be the 50 cal of this game we have the syrian 9 millimeter full auto <laughs> pistol and then we have the power drill melee weapon as well as the cleaver melee weapon in total for season one that is going to be one assault rifle one submachine gun one sniper one shotgun one pistol and two melee weapons which is actually pretty freaking crazy and it's definitely going to shake up the black ops 6 multiplayer quite a bit and also add a bunch of new choices for players it's gonna shake up it's gonna shake up black ops okay okay it's gonna i guess it's gonna shake up black ops 6 till they act with their trap card by the no skill based match we can guys yeah that's the only one man i hope they do not act with the trap card because I also got a trap card by the name of Captain Blame Truth, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know the homie Captain Blame Truth? He's gonna be inbound too, suckers! So yeah, you do not want the Captain Blame Truth to be, uh going crazy after that so let's there's your grinding for the, the dark matter camo keep in mind when it comes to dark matter camo you just have to get a certain number of guns up to diamond so for example if you don't want to use say the goblin i saw a lot of people not liking the goblin i personally didn't like the gripper i call it the gpr i don't like that gun either for the assault rifles instead of using those guns and getting them up to gold you can choose to use the new craig c when it comes out with season one and okay. replace one of these assault okay. rifles you don't like maybe if you don't like one of the sniper rifles currently you could replace it with the new amr mod 4 or the new pistol or you don't want to do the baseball bat instead you want to do the cleaver you can do that as well it's going to add a lot of variety and choice for people that are going for dark matter camo which is pretty cool and Treyarch is also going to be shaking up weapons with conversion kits which won't be as crazy as the aftermarket parts that we saw back during modern warfare 3 but they will work as special attachments for certain weapons okay. in season one we're going to see the return of dragon's breath for the shotguns i know some people are gonna be pissed no. about that fire shotguns no. are going to be returning we then have a buffer weight stock for the xm4 the xmg and the dm10 apparently which is going to significantly improve recoil on those guns and so they're adding special attachments yo okay now that's uh that's kind of fire uh, unless they added like last year or last last year alongside you know uh, that uh captain uh, or friendly uav online skin that they added in modern warfare 2022 i'm not sure if we had something like that when they introduced the friendly uav online bundle or last year when i didn't buy call of duty so yeah I, I guess this is new correct me if i'm wrong but i like that i like that i like that so they got a lot of new maps they also got zombies zombies new zombies map coming i want to talk about the new zombies map as well so far people are excited about it and the homie mr waffle waffles is saying that we are so bad guys we are so bad because the map is similar to their eyes and Draha, oh, which was the dlc one map for black ops 3 zombies which is one of the best uh, and the most beloved it zombies map 
of, of all time. And even I have to say, this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite map in Black Ops 3 Zombies. It was really, really good for solo players, high run players. Uh, if you wanted to play online with randoms or with your friends, co-op, you want to do Easter egg or, uh, you know, b boss fight. It was just for is it was it was good for everybody man for good for casuals good for people that wanted to like learn the strike uh get the wonder weapons uh train zombies or camp and zombies right it was just an all-round map it was one of the best map uh, hands down period okay uh and now we're getting a map similar to that it's gonna be a castle map i believe it's called the uh uh, something Citadel, Citadel de Mort, which means Citadel, uh, Citadel of the Dead. So, uh, but the only complaint, uh, uh, not necessarily a complaint, I guess it is a complaint, right, is that it's a daytime map once again. Yeah, I don't know what, what's up with these seconds. Just make a nighttime zombies map. We, uh, we had so many daytime maps right now so that's the only criticism that i'm seeing around and that's also genuinely my opinion too on the matter but we're gonna get down to it wait for it and then we have the burst fire conversion mod for the xm4 which is gonna make it feel like an m16 and then the burst fire Jeez. mod for the compact submachine gun making it a three round burst smg for people mm. who enjoy that play style while these conversion kits aren't going to be as crazy as the aftermarket parts that we saw last year it does look like throughout the black ops 6 life cycle Treyarch is going to be adding special attachments to certain guns to kind of shake up things a little bit and overall shake i think up? that is good okay. for the black ops 6 multiplayer it's also worth noting that Treyarch is going to be adding the armory to the game, which is going to be a place where fans can go to unlock weapons that they may have missed out on. No. Let's say, for example, your friend has not been playing Black Ops 6, maybe they miss all of Season 1, but they join the game during Season 2. Well, in the armory, people like that will be able to find all the Season 1 guns and then earn XP by playing the game to unlock those guns one by one. And this will also be useful for Warzone players, since Warzone is going to feature guns from Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 6. So any of the guns that you may have missed out on before, they will be able to be unlocked via the armory. Next up, let's talk about the multiplayer maps. We got a teaser trailer a couple Modern of days ago, which revealed the three launch maps that we're going to have in season one we have hideout we have heirloom and then we have extraction we saw those maps mm. previously but now we know that mid-season we're going to be seeing the return of hacienda from black ops 4 which i think black ops 4 had a new map guys <laughs> <laughs> new map but i don't mind it i don't mind it as long as we're also getting like new maps i, I feel like that we're getting three or four new maps one kind of like uh they're bringing it back from black ops 4 and hacienda hacienda, hacienda was kind of odd from what i recall it was kind of odd though you know it wasn't the best it wasn't the worst it was kind of odd kind of mid right and that's like the biggest criticism for black ops 6 so far people are either enjoying the game or not enjoying the game but this year i haven't been seeing too many people complain about Black Ops 6. Yeah, right, like you got uh, the usual suspects, the homie blame truth, and everybody has a right. Like, listen, man, everybody got the God given, uh, everybody's, everybody got a God given right, people. You have a, you got, come on, man, like, it's perfectly fine if you don't like the game or like the game. You have your right, okay, to complain or not complain or love it or don't love it, depending on if you love it or not like it, right? Simple as that. But the biggest criticism that I'm seeing around is that the maps are garbo in this game, you know, garbo. <laughs> And, and I have to agree that is true. There's only like two three maps that are pretty odd. The rest of them are below odd though. Nuketown is the best one, let's be real. But we have that map 14, 14 years ago, damn it. We have been playing the same map for 14 years, uh, man. That is crazy when you think about it. Even though I'm all up for Nuketown whenever there's a Black Ops game. Because Black Ops is Nuketown, Nuketown is Black Ops. Simple, right? Yeah, man, Sick is wanna see Nuketown. Don't get me wrong, even I wanna see Nuketown. They should always bring it back. But like, can a brother also get new maps similar to Nuketown as good, if not better? Feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you feel what I'm saying, man. Like the video if you... If you agree with that, dislike if you disagree though, but uh, I also do want to talk about this one because I feel like that if we don't get into this, the video would be incomplete because so far, yes, we got good news, we got good news, right? And people, but, but people love that, but at the same time, people want a little bit of drama too. And guys, real quick though, let's talk about some drama. So I present you the homie Ghost of It, roll it. Season 1 has dropped, or is dropping rather, by the intel rather for season one, has dropped and it looks gay as fuck, okay? It looks horrible. And when you see the Trump derangement syndrome tweets that these developers and people who are associated with Call of Duty have been doing since Donald Trump 2024, back baby! I can't believe the guy won. I can't believe he won. He won so big, so big, so huge, that he could not be yeah, denied. Big. They couldn't cheat their Crazy. way out of it this time. Jerry, you're totally legit! What, what was the numbers? Uh, I believe it's like 292, some people are saying. Electoral uh, votes, right? wins 292 and i believe kamala had 226 i believe could be wrong 292 226 for kamala 
292 for Trump, obviously. But let me actually show you guys this, and then we're gonna get down to some good news, guys. Don't worry, mate. Don't worry, mate. We gotta, we gotta get you there, man. But I gotta get a little bit of that dopamine, too, because you gotta get a little bit of that dopamine, man. But roll it from here. I actually marked down the, the timestamps, man. Or black. I mean, Jesus Christ. Trump team is entirely filled with all kinds of different nationalities and races. I mean, obviously, a lot of white people up in there. I mean, that's what, you know, dominates both sides, mostly white people, because they're the best. Oh, it's a joke again. I'm going to get banned. I'm in big trouble. We can't make racist jokes on this channel on YouTube. What about brown I mean, we're, not done. we're not done. It gets even stupider with the Shanice broad. Process played out. American made. Shanice be like, <laughs> Shanice once said that men don't deserve the internet. She actually said that, like, men shouldn't shouldn't be on the internet, men don't deserve the internet, or men shouldn't shouldn't have internet access. Yeah, something along those lines, I'm, like, paraphrasing right now, but if you know, you know, right? So that's uh, Shanice. <laughs> strong, independent, strong, 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 independent, independent, independent. And she works for Call of Duty, so that's why this is relevant. Bruh. Made his choice. I voted in my best interest, and in the best interest for all women and all minorities. Majority did not, did not, nope. Tough pill to swallow. Unsure what we can do or how to organize right now, but we must. Now you fucking lost, Shanice. Be tired, be sad for now, but we can't be done. No, you're done. You're done. Like, what are you, what are you denying the election? You're going to fight against it? It's over. Like, you know, in four years, you know, you'll lose again because Trump's going to show how amazing of a job he's doing and all his nonsense and lies. Everybody thinks they've been hurting from mainstream media and a bunch of fucking propaganda CIA agents. Operation Mockingbird is going to expose the whole thing. In the meantime, high level on Project 2025. Project 2025, there's another hoax. Like that Liz Cheney, a hoax. The whole thing is a hoax. Everything. What is Project 2025? Uh, 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 uh. I'm in Canada, by the way, so, uh, yeah, it gotta be something, like, crazy, though, yeah, okay, I'm gonna research. What people say in the media, in the news, is all half-truths, taken out of context lies. Project 2025, Trump has already separated himself from that. Okay, he already has blacklisted anybody associated, associated with 2025 to ever work with him or to be hired or work in the White House. Just putting out oh, there, like, shit. open, you can okay. find that. Uh, it's all just, even, like, the fact-checkers and Snopes fact-check this, but the media, they lie. Like, honestly, the media is dead. Like, anybody who watches the news and believes anything you hear from MSBC, CNN, even Fox News, like, 60% is bullshit on there, too. All that's nonsense. It's over. Mainstream media yeah. is filled with lies. Okay, so now we got a little bit of over, like, you know, bad news dopamine. Let's get down to some good news, guys. Bruh. Had a number of okay maps. None of them were overly great, but Hacienda was pretty good, so I'm curious to see how that map's gonna play within Black Ops 6. We then have Racket, which is going to be a 2v2 slash 6v6 map, so it's okay. gonna be a face-off map, essentially, something very tiny. And then finally, we have Nuketown <laughs> Holiday, which will be coming out with Season yeah. 1 Reloaded, and what's interesting- Oh my god! Wow! Yo! Yo! It's kind of similar to, uh... I believe Black Ops 4 Nuketown, because Black Ops 4 Nuketown was like winterish, but obviously this is like the original Nuketown with winter skin on it. Looks kind of dope actually, it looks dope. Uh, I personally wouldn't mind if they bring all the remastered Nuketowns over the years that they made, and they, they put it in the game, right? So when you're playing on Nuketown, Sometimes it's the original, sometimes it's the, the winter one, sometimes it's like the Black Ops 3, the ver version, Black Ops 4, Black Ops Cold, right? You get, you guys get the idea, right? Alongside Black Ops 2 Nuketown. I do feel like... Uh, here's the thing though, next year we're getting Black Ops 2 Remake, right? So I do have a feeling that next year we're gonna be getting the original Black Ops 2 Nuketown Remastered. So they're gonna keep in the original Black Ops 2 Nuketown, and I think that would be dope though. Just like this year, where they kept the original Black Ops 1 Nuketown. And we're hearing that next year we're gonna be getting original Black Ops 2 multiplayer maps remastered alongside new maps. So it's gonna be similar to how Modern Warfare 2023 was with remaster maps and also new maps. Yeah, right. We'll see how that turns out, though, but... First thing is, in the blog post, they say that when this map comes out, there's going to be a variety of gifts in-game from the developers to the player base, leading no up way. to what they call Cognis. No they also no claim that while this is going on, Treyarch is going to be adding a little something to the original Nuketown, as well as Warhead, but they did not elaborate on that, and I'm wondering, are they actually finally going to add an Easter egg? As far as I can tell, I tried Easter? it myself in a private match, I haven't messed around with it, like, with friends or anything, but I tried it myself, it didn't work, shooting the heads off mannequins, shooting the arms off mannequins, none of that seemed to work. I've Googled, I've YouTubed, I've asked on Twitter, nobody seems to know if there's even an easter egg whatsoever oh, on nuketown i don't think there is so per no so they forgot to add easter egg or i mean their budget got cut so they didn't add easter egg 
Bumbleclad Brothers. Bumble Perhaps the Nuketown Easter egg is going Bumble to come Clad. out when Nuketown Holiday releases during this whole Cadmus event that they're going to be doing. I guess we're going to have to wait and see, maybe, but I still maybe. don't understand why they release Nuketown without an Easter egg, without a song, mm. without something, you know, just kind of... Yeah, right. Normally, those videos go pretty viral, and people love doing those Easter eggs uh, in private matches. People attempt to do it in public, too. Yeah, people do attempt it, but in public matches, it's kind of hard to do. Weird, but apparently that's something they may be adding with Season 1 Reloaded. With the maps out of the way, let's talk about some new game modes here. So, at the launch of Season 1, we are going to have a brand new game mode called Ransack. This is going to be a mode... Oh, so this is that operator that the homie uh, Ghost of It talked about. Yes, once you see it, you cannot unsee it. E where teams are fighting over crates of gold bars that are placed around the map. You grab the gold, then you bring it back to your team's stash. And of course, the stashes will need to be protected because they can be raided by the other team if left Battle unprotected. Of, uh, this sort of reminds me of that one game mode from Battlefield Hardline, Hardline which I've got to say, I have not thought about Battlefield Hardline in a long time. I did not expect when I woke up today that I'd be thinking about Battlefield Hardline, but here we are. And that's going to be the Ransack game mode that comes out with the launch of Season 1. <laughs> Mid-season, they're going to be bringing back Prop Hunt, which is freaking awesome. I love Prop Hunt. I love party modes in the COD franchise. So Prop Hunt coming mm. back is going to be pretty awesome. And then there's going Infected to be additional well. limited time modes also added to the game during the holiday season. They didn't really Infected go into too much well, detail, right? but more limited time modes are going to be coming out, probably holiday Nuketown 24-7. Next up was- Oh crap. Okay, so is this like real, real zombies, but on multiplayer maps, or is this infected? I hope they do bring infected back. And I wouldn't mind like onslaught mode from Black Ops Cold War, which basically means that you got zombies on multiplayer maps. Yeah, I love the idea of uh, zombies on Warzone as well, and zombies on multiplayer maps, as long as, big keyword guys, as long as you have round based maps which obviously we do this year so you gotta prioritize round based maps right and make sure there are zombie zombies and they don't feel like warzone S uh, spoiler alert the the zombies maps in this game are heavily like warzone sadly that's the biggest criticism but i feel like that zombies is growing on people it's growing a little bit on me as well Z Z this year zombies is not the worst thing ever but it's also not like Black Ops 3 Zombies. I guess it's safe to say that if you ever played Black Ops 3 Zombies, Black Ops 2 Zombies, or even Black Ops 1 Zombies, or even the World at War Zombies, I guess those days are long gone, right? Sadly, guys, I I'm trying to be realistic. Yeah, could come across pessimistic uh, here, but realistically, let's be real, guys. You know that. I don't even, I don't even have to say this. You know that. It's the truth, man. Uh, we're not gonna get back to those days unless Warzone flops which I don't think it's gonna happen. Warzone is free. Suckers love it. Suckers love it. And I don't want to see Warzone flop just because I want to see like good zombies. Yeah, I, I guess a lot more people love Warzone than zombies. Maybe that's not true or maybe that's true. I don't know. But by the looks of it right now, a lot more people play Warzone than zombies. So I don't, just because I want good zombies, I don't want like other people passion to be ruined. Or if you, yeah, if, for example, if you're watching this video and you love Warzone, yeah, I don't want you to feel kind of like, uh, what's, what's the word? I don't want, like, yeah, I don't want Warzone to be ruined for you just so I can get good zombies. I wish that zombies was also 110% zombies, where you played zombies and it felt like zombies. Now, if you're new to zombies, you're probably, you probably do not know what I'm talking about, and that's fair. I, I get it. If you're new, zombies is probably, like, really, really solid. But for somebody like me that played the old school zombies, it ain't the same, though. We're getting a new zombies map. Hopefully it's gonna be really good. Daytime and Warzone-like elements are the two biggest criticisms so far. But other than that, I feel like Zombies is pretty decent this year. Uh, along And also, last criticism Bruh. is t uh, a lot of uh, boss zombie spawn. Uh, spam, right? So the boss zombies spawn like crazy. They spam like crazy. So that gotta go. That gotta go. Let's talk about some new multiplayer content that's definitely gonna shake things up quite a bit. We have two new perks, a new wild card, as well as a new score streak. When oh, it comes crap. to the perks, we are going to have Jeez. Shadow, which is going to be a green perk too, which is going to make you undetected to enemy mines and traps, which is fine. I think that's an okay addition to the game. But then we have Shrapnel Radar coming out mid-season, which I am not excited for whatsoever. It's going mm. to be a blue perk 3, Whoa. which will cause your blast damage to reveal enemies on the map. Now, no. picture this to be a lot like Recon Pro was back during the original Modern Warfare 3, and I've got to be honest, that perk really sucked and kind of ruined a lot of game modes, especially Search and Destroy and Free For All. Mm. What this allows you to do is whenever you stun, flash, or hit someone on the other team with your grenade or a field upgrade, it's going to reveal them on the mini-map. Now, picture these tiny ass maps that we're currently playing on within Black Ops 6 where people are running around with flash times 3 which they can hit you with from across the map Damn, and yeah. while you're sitting there completely blind you're also revealed on the mini map now and then you combine that with the even with like the flash and not sure about concussions but I guess that would also be in it yeah like in search and destroy I guess you gotta spam then right people are gonna spam have that perk throw like a flashbang and then it's gonna reveal people location on the mini map yeah yeah and, and some people will probably save them 
for the last few moments in the in the round so they can know you know once you only have one person alive or two people alive that's when you're gonna really really try and throw the flashbangs to see where they could be yeah i, I don't like that uh, or 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 it could create like very strategic play too uh, i love search and destroy a lot i feel like that in search and destroy i love it when people sweat for for that game mode it's meant to be right for search and destroy it, it's awesome but for public you just want to chill and relax so yeah and the maps are very small that's that's a good point too i don't know about it i uh, yeah my fact work, that's might going not. to be a blue perk which people are already abusing so now we're gonna have people running around with ninja ghost as well as the shrapnel yeah. radar here mm -hmm. which will be constantly revealing people on the other team just by throwing stuns and flashes everywhere and they also i mean to counter that you definitely need the captain bbc to be inbound immediately right like you need this uh yeah like where is captain friendly bbc online you need to call in the uav online off uh, yeah bro like there's no other way around right. we'll have free Damn high alert only. as well as wall hacks Damn every time only. they spawn yeah I, I don't think this is a good addition to the game although i would love to be proven wrong but this just seems like it's gonna be making the blue perks even more powerful not and the game wrong, even wrong. more annoying as people are now going to be incentivized to not run things like stim shop but rather be spamming stuns and flashes all the time that sounds mm -hmm. ridiculously mm -hmm. frustrating mm -hmm. i'm probably gonna be bringing tack mask with me on my next prestige getting back to the new content however we then have the high roller wild card which will be coming out mid-season <laughs> which will allow you to have a fourth score streak which actually sounds pretty nice and speaking of score streaks season one will launch with the return of the hand cannon which was a score streak that we last saw during black ops cold war i personally like to yo fourth kill streak or score Strike? That does sound kind of good. Like I, I have to say, man, the update sounds very, very good so far. Thoughts, guys? WL, what we thinking? Using that quite a bit back during Black Ops Cold War, so it'll be nice to have it here. And apparently, it's only going to be mid-tier in terms of cost. Therefore, people are actually going to be able to unlock it. A few okay. other things to note here: okay. Ranked Flight is going to be launching on November 21st, so hopefully our lobbies will stop being as sweaty with Warzone being out and eventually Ranked Flight being no out. Maybe we can just go back to playing normal COD multiplayer where people go for headshots. Oh man, I'm telling you what, the headshot grinds like kind of make me go crazy as of late. But yeah, Ranked Flight is going to be coming out November 21st, and then Zombies. There's going to be a new map coming before the end of the year, so picture sometime mid-season or season one reloaded, and the map is going to be set in an abandoned european castle nicknamed citadel of the dead zombies is also going to be getting a new perk a new field upgrade a new ammo mod three new gobble gums multiple new wonder weapons and a whole lot more so zombies damn okay does sound yeah man this update i'm seeing a lot of people being excited and okay makes sense though makes sense people doing uh sick is doing i guess sick is doing helicopters on bbc's right now so makes sense man makes sense uh, the update sounds very very good but where's the catch though i <laughs> there's gotta be a catch guys there is always a catch today is a good news day so take it all in man has been pretty well received so far here within Black Ops 6, and it's only going to be getting better with Season 1. And finally, let's wrap Can't everything up here it. with the events, right? We talked about the events a little bit towards the beginning of the video when we were talking about the weapons and how they're going to be unlocked. Well, midway through Season 1, so picture around Season 1 Reloaded, we're going to be getting the Hit List event. You may have noticed that a lot of the cosmetics and a lot of the different maps that are going to be coming out with Season 1 are kind of themed around this idea of the criminal underground, and this event is going to be how we unlock mid-season weapons. Basically, they're going to be challenges in the form of hit contracts, and for completing all those hit contracts, you're going to unlock a bunch of new weapons, as well as other cosmetics and in-game rewards. Black Ops 6 Season 1, of course, will also have a brand new Battle Pass along with the Black Cell, which mm -hmm. won't be too much different than what we've seen over the course of the last couple of years. Lots yeah, 30... Yeah! yeah, $30 Black Cell Battle Pass inbound, guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, man, like, the skin's gonna be inbound, the store is gonna go crazy. I hope... I hope they don't go too crazy, but they're probably gonna go crazy with the microtransactions. Hopefully it's not going to be a turn off because last few years microtransactions just overtook Call of Duty to the to the point where every new content was like locked behind paywall. Of course, like we were still getting free multiplayer maps, but the maps were trash and the frequency was very, very late. For example, Modern Warfare 2022 got its first map five months after the game came out guys can you believe it that yeah that was a real thing i'm not even making that up if you were around you know that's the truth you can comment that below to let other people know they took five months but treyarch is definitely uh doing it quicker i guess they realized the season one needs to come out fast because that's really gonna capture people attention and i wouldn't be surprised if they worked on all of this right before the game even came out so they were like we're gonna hold it a little bit after launch and yeah i mean uh we only have two zombies maps and the these like took four years to make this game so i wouldn't be surprised if they made some of the maps when they were working on black ops 6 and they were like okay let's not release it release them all at once which is smart in a way too right and they're releasing it a little quicker usually you would get dlc one map around like by the end of january or early february that's how it was back during black ops 3 i believe during black ops 4 zombies as well so it's good 
sounds good sounds good guys but check out this video on the screen recently we had ps5 pro versus ps5 versus xbox gameplay comparison and let me tell you man ps5 pro bro yeah we got some bad news about that guys uh check it out and i'll see you right there